Keith the hardest then. Who was the greatest rivalry for him? Kai Green. No question. End of story. End of story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels, feels being pushed by others, but no, he's never been pushed like he's been pushed by like Kai Green. It's the same as, as, as Jay and, 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 and Ronnie. It was kind of Phil and, and, you know, that was going on for three, four years back to back. Mm. You know what I mean? Dennis and, and it would probably still go on today if they would both compete, if they would get up off their asses and decide to compete, which they should. Dennis, do you think there's an argument for Kai ever winning any of those years over Phil? Um, no, I don't think so. I, you know what? Like, listen, these guys, are, they're all great. Yeah. It, it's, it's, you can make an argument. Yes, but you can't take the wins away from Phil in 2010, 11, 12, and 13. There's nothing you can take away. You know what I mean? He was just too good. You know what I mean? And, and and even though that Kai was a bigger version, but when you when you when they stand next to each other, you you saw really what was going on. Especially when they turned around. You know, mm. Kai's great. Kai's got a great back, but Phil is complete with detail that no one else has. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you now, concur, Milos? Can I can I build on on this one now? Super important. Everything you said, Dennis, is spot on. Perfect. Beautiful. But. Didn't Dorian beat Flex Wheeler, uh, Kevin and Sean on the basis of being bigger, more yeah, muscular? Yeah. And, 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 I, and I said the same. I think they should have gave it to Flex in 93. Exactly. They should have gave it to Sean. So I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm just, I'm not a judge. Exactly. So what the Flex, uh, what the DJ is saying, and I, I agree completely, this is how we see a sport. It should be aesthetics, mm. right? So... Flex and Kevin and Sean, you know, should have an edge over Dorian. Muscle mass, it's not just one deciding factor, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Kai... Well, you see it, you see it today. You see it, it followed is more today, because if, if that would be like it was in the early 90s, Rami should win every show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and also, not. at, at uh, 90s judging, Kai could have a chance to beat Phil, you know, with the 90s judging, because bigger is better. And mm. I, I'm uh, glad that they, they changed it and they're now supporting more aesthetics, you know, uh, shape, V-taper, all this stuff. Uh, so, uh, now, Rami is at the uh, other wonder because Rami is, like, so goddamn big, but it's also still aesthetic, right? He mm -hmm. can he can yeah. make uh, argument. But uh, speaking of uh, Phil and Kai, I think that one year uh, Kai was very close uh, when... Uh, uh, but I was not in the state, so I didn't really see the. Well, that, that's 2000, 2014. 14. Oh, 14. Okay. I, was, I thought you were going to say 2012 or 2013. Because I know 2012, no, Kai 2013, was. 2013, Phil was at his best. Yeah, he was at his biggest, wasn't he? Um, in 2012, I know Kai was a little bit flat for the pre judging, and he kind of pulled it out of the bag for the night show, but obviously, Mr. Saturday Night pulled it out of the bag also kind of managed right. to hold on but I, I i heard that was the one where because i know he certainly tried to catch up with him on the on uh, the, the, the post olympia tours i know that phil uh, kai kind of got better you know so it was a real kind mm. of uh, a tight match what, what what year was the movie generation iron release 2012 no you sure 2012 no it had to be later it had to be later Okay, maybe 2013 <laughs> i'm just guessing because <laughs> i remember because i remember that year they had the um they had the um, the movie premiere in Los Angeles. It's like two weeks before the Olympia. Yeah. So the movie the movie came out, and the movie was kind of like they put it together like Kai is the poor guy lives mm. in the fucking ghetto, which all wasn't really true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, then what Dave was went there to film. And, you know, and acted like he's the poor guy. Phil is the one bathing in rose fucking water and shit. Like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So they made it look like. You know, everybody's rooting for the underdog. It's normal. Mm. I remember that year when Phil came out, you know, Mr. Olympia comes out for his mandatory at the very end. The crowd booed oh. Hero villain. Just based off the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was that was where I felt like they did feel kind of wrong with this, with this generation. It, it, because it he was, I he was uh, portrayed as the lucky guy that has everything from birth. You know gift, what I mean? The gift. Grew up with the gift. With the greatest family and, and blah 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 so yeah. it kind of it was kind of like it wasn't really a real